tonight is our second hour of our double feature, everybody. Hey, are you wondering why we're doing Clash of Clans this hour? Well, the uh, reason for that is you haven't been paying attention. So uh, we are on a brand new schedule, guys. Uh, let's recap one more time. Sundays is Fortnite Fun Night. And at 7 p.m. Central, Tuesdays now is Fortnite Kids Night at 7 p.m. Central. And tonight is your double feature Clash Night. 6.30 p.m. Central starting with Clash Royale. And then uh, somewhere between 7.45 and 8 p.m. Central is Clash of Clans. So what we're going to be talking about here tonight, it's going to be a uh, village uh boost mashup so i have three of my village we're going to be rotating and fast boosting action all night long so if you are looking for strategies for th2 th10 th12 or any of the ones in between uh stay tuned to the stink pot shack show so we'll be right back in just a moment then let's start sticking up your home right now back guys here we are clash of clans and my wonderful th12 here in all its glory we're gonna be doing a village boost uh, mashup here tonight I got my three accounts like I said before th2 th10 th12 and we're gonna start boosting them on my th12 the uh, army we're gonna be using is one you've seen me use before it's my minor madness uh, army 28 wizards and now guys uh keep this in mind i now have unlocked all of the army camps so all of my army camps are now maxed for uh th12 and that provides me 280 uh army camp size so uh tw like i said 28 miners 16 wizards nine giants and three archers and then in my castle uh, I need to fill it up, but what I'm going to have in there are the giants and a healing spell. And then the rest of my spells are going to be a uh, two more healing spells, two more rage, two more freeze, and one poison. Just in case they have troops coming out of the their uh, clan castle. So the, the idea behind having these particular spells at TH12 is I use my rage for the main part of my army. And then I have three healing spells that keep those 28 miners alive. So that's crucial anytime you're battling against Town Hall 11 or Town Hall 12. And we'll get to show that in just a moment. And as you can see, my heroes are not as high as I want them to be because now heroes go up to level 60. So I got my work cut out for me. But if you're having trouble uh, getting your hero level up, one suggestion I have for you is... Get involved in the clan games because it gives out a ton of dark elixir. You can easily get twenty to 40,000 dark just by doing clan games. And then clan war is another good way. Uh, I just, in my last uh, clan war, I think I got like 15,000 dark. So those are real two good ways when you're not uh, dark elixir farming on how you can uh, get that up there. Let's see what we got. Um, let's see anything I'll give some of my uh, wizards away boom boom and I'll give some of my giants away boom boom and they want quake quake so I'll give those quakes away as well in just a moment uh, let me train the rest of my troops uh, how many how many giants did I give away I had nine 
Okay, now I have three, so I need six more, and then the rest will be wizards. So six, two, and then wizards. Boom, 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 boom. And then one archer. All right, so once that gets underway, so here's how we're going to rotate here tonight, guys. We're going to do an attack on my Town Hall 12. Then we're going to switch on over to the Builder Base 8 and get that out of the way. And then I'm going to switch to my Town Hall 10 and do an attack there. And then I'm going to switch over to his Builder Base 5 and do an attack there. And then we're going to go on over to Town Hall 2 where we started with our Origin series probably about a month or so ago. And show you what it's like to start this game from scratch. And we're going to do some fast trophy pushing there. So, man, lots of stuff in store for you tonight. Welcome to Sky's World, our very first live chatter of the night. Welcome to the show, and hopefully you enjoy it. If you have any requests, uh, let me know. Go ahead, and if you want to do a mini game, uh, try this one on for size. Just type exclamation point battle boss to join this battle, and we'll get it underway in just a minute. Is my... Chatbot stopping? Uh, he must have. Yeah, there it is. So it is working. Maybe it's capital B? Let's try that. Oh, hey, I had it wrong. It's exclamation point boss battle. That's how we get it kicked underway. So there we go. Get that underway. Stick Pot Studios is trying to get a grip of sticky kids ready to fight a boss. Will you join them? Type exclamation point boss battle to join it's a way to get some stink bombs here on the stink pot jack show as we wait for our army let's go ahead and uh, give myself some uh some giants here and we'll get underway if you guys see the stink pot shack show just remember that's temporary i'm just switching accounts so you guys don't see my sensitive uh information and then i'll bring it right back so let me give myself some giants uh there's one how many more do I need? Seven. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get those, and let's see what army he has. So on this army, we're rocking 34 wizards, eight wall breakers. <coughs> Still can't get over that. One golem, 31 archers. So uh, we'll probably throw an extra archer in there. Well, actually, we'll get rid of this bowler. So that'll... Uh, Give us more room. Let's see, I got... Don't need that many wall breakers either. So, uh... Let's get rid of that. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll see where we're at in just a moment. Go ahead and give these giants away. So, we'll let that finish. And we'll switch on back on over to Stink Pot. Oh, actually, we need to wait here, don't we? Because we can't do that attack until this is done. So, let's go ahead and finish that up. And get some more giants. Okay, train troops, gem, 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 need one more, okay, and that should do it, so, and then we need a healing spell, and blah, 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 we're ready to go, so how much army camp do we need here, six more, so we'll take uh, an extra wizard and two more archers, and that'll do it. All right, what's our spells looking like over here in TH10 land? We got a jump spell. We got a free spell. So it looks like I'm missing two rage. So we'll go ahead and add that to the queue. And now we can switch back on over to, to uh, Stink Pot. Oops, I had it wrong. <laughs> hey, Zoid, welcome. Oh, he's the boss. That's right. Zoid's not here. He never shows up. He's playing Fortnite. So, Paranoid Zoid laughed at the demise of the Stinky Kids, so to date, no one has still been able to beat that boss, so sorry for all of your guys' stinky demise, but that's how it rolls. The top right of the screen are all the commands you can do in the live chat, so feel free to use those commands and get and uh, try some other games that are out there. So, alright, we're ready for our first match, and... Uh, then we'll really get things going. So I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, magic item to get the boost going. Which one is the training, training potion? Yep, yep. All right. Training potion away. 
So now that's going to boost all my uh, pro army production facilities, including my heroes. So we are ready to rock and roll in this first TH-12 attack. Let's get started here. All right, just waiting. This is the worst part about uh, Town Hall 12 is waiting on this stinking fog to clear. But uh, you can see there's going to, as we do some of the lower attacks, you're going to see a huge difference in the fog. So uh, look at this, 700,000 gold, 400,000 elixir, and 6,000 dark. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's get in there and take some loot. Do I have what I need? Yes, I have the siege, because the siege is very important at Town Hall 11 and 12. Do not go into battle without one if you can help it, because it really makes a big, uh, a big difference. So uh, we'll start off with our siege. And we'll get everybody else rolling here. So let's get some wizards in here. Take out some of this uh, extra stuff in here. And just send everybody in now. Rage them up. And now we'll trickle all the miners behind all of that. So here we go with all the miners. And uh, now we want to keep them healed. So we'll put two healings out inside. We'll freeze the middle. And we'll rage the one last time and that should help them clear out the town hall and a little bit of the other things. We still got to freeze some big stuff and uh, the miners are still going to town over here so uh, we'll just keep them going. Uh, it looks like the, the archer queen is going the wrong way. Did not want her to go that way so uh, hopefully she can get that eagle artillery taken down before she perishes. And she does, so that's really going to help out. Let's put these archers out on the side here. So now it's really up to the rest of the, uh, the, the miners, the giants, and everyone else to get things done. And it looks like we're stalling big time. But look, we got a two-star, strong attacks. So and now the only thing I really hope to do is to uh, get 70% uh, and uh, we might have enough giants to do it. The warden's hanging out in the back doing his thing. Oh, actually, everybody's dead now. So 65% is where we're going to stay. Maybe 66. We'll see if he can get that. Nope, couldn't get that cannon. But I consider that a win. Look at that. I got 475,000 gold, 3,000 dark, 240,000, plus my bonus of 266,000. So anytime you can get a two-star... When you're Town Hall 11 or 12, I consider that a good match. So, um, we'll go ahead and queue up the next army. Hey, uh, Miss Sharo, welcome back. Good to have you here. We'll go ahead and request some more. And looks like we got six seconds to wait. So, now let's head on over to uh, Builder Base 8 and see what happens there. Um, we are boosting... Uh, Village Madness here on the Stink Pot Shack Show here tonight. We're just switching to a whole bunch of different levels, and we're just going to keep showing non-stop battles as best as we can anyway. So this is Builder Base 8, and I'm rocking the Super Pika, guys. So level 12, um, level 16, I believe, is the max. So what I go after on my Pika Super Pika attacks is I take out the biggest threats first. So in this case, it's going to be... This giant cannon! Welcome to the show, Eagle. Good to have you here. Missed a good show last hour with Clash Royale, our new schedule. So good to have you aboard here. So let's go ahead and start off with some wall breakers to bust things up and some Pikas um, leading the charge here. And we'll put some wall breakers in the middle because you really want to take out these walls and send in your Pika on a straight line. Um, so we'll just do that. We got Pikas to the side and now Pikas in the middle. And now we're getting Pikas in the, uh, covering all our bases because you want the Pika to go in first to take out the crusher because the battle machine is really weak against the crusher, but the Pika can destroy it in like two hits and not take much damage. So that's what you want. And boost your uh, battle machine when you can. And uh, now we're going to work on focusing on getting a strong uh, two-star attack here as well. There's one star. There's two stars. And now let's see what we can do. If we have Pika left, we'll be able to take out those crushers 
Now it's just a matter of can we keep those Pika alive? We got looks like there's one Pika left. Oh, you got the battle machine in front, so he's gonna be hurt by that pressure big time. But hopefully we can salvage him. Uh, yes, we were able to fight through that crusher. And now, as long as we can keep the battle machine alive, this should be a 100%. But it's all a matter of getting to that double cannon there in the middle. Can we keep our battle machine alive long enough? Because he's going to fight all the way around all these buildings. Um, we can get that wall breaker in there too on that double cannon. That will help tremendously. But I think the wall breaker has got different things in mind. So uh, I don't know. It's going to be close if we can take out that double cannon. Oh, now we got the wall breaker on the double cannon. But the battle machine is going down really quick. It, uh, who barely saved him? Is it going to happen? Let's find out. One, two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wall breakers died at the very last minute. So that is going to do it for that battle. I'll get this uh, star, uh, this clock tower down, but then uh, the double cannon is going to take out my wall breakers, and that's going to be game over at 98%. Wow. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, no. No, it just didn't happen. That sucks. Two star, 98%. Man. And look, I needed the 100 I needed that hundred. Oh, that was horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, oh, yes, I'm supposed to be donating. Uh, let's go here and go here. Okay, and give myself some more giants. And it looks like I have to get rid of that other quake because otherwise I won't be able to get them in there. There we go. So now let's switch on over to our Town Hall 10 and see if he's ready to do a battle. I'm just switching accounts now and let's bring up our Town Hall 12 or 10. Welcome Rocky Bishu, Bishu. sorry if I mispronounced your name, but welcome to the Stink, Stink Pot Shack Show where we're doing a uh, village boosting mashup between three of my uh, different villages and we just did uh, Town Hall 12 and Builder Base 8 and now we're going to do Town Hall 10 and uh, Builder Base 5. So here we go. This is my Town Hall 10 guys. So you can see uh, it's quite different army than my Town Hall 12. Doesn't have to be so tanky. So uh, I got just one golem and one giant for my tanks and then my uh, wizards and archers are going to do the brunt of the magic here. So let's see what happens. Uh, we'll get into battle. Oh, my queen's down, so she's not going to be of good help. But as I talked about a minute ago, I was able to get my queen upgraded. And if you're a low town hall uh, level and you're in a really strong clan that can that is able to get you a lot of dark elixir from clan games and clan wars, that's a great way to quickly level up your heroes. So let's get into it and uh, see what... Do I have anything in my clan castle? No, I do not. So uh, let's get some uh, bowlers in there. And uh, let me switch back to my other account and get some bowlers for a good old Bowser here. A lot of switching. So try to keep up, guys, as we go between accounts all over. Crazy madness. Uh, we'll take out these six giants, put in some bowlers. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, let's see, that should do that. And get the bowlers out. Uh, give it to Bowser. Bowler heaven. And here I can also give him a siege machine because I'm the only one in my clan that has it. So we'll do that. And we'll get some more siege machines cooking as well. Bum, bum, bum. There. It costs a hundred and, what is it? 125,000 for level two. So those suckers are not uh, cheap by any means. Zoid, you did show up! Oh my goodness, Zoid finally showed up. Yeah, I guess he felt bad because he did not attack in our last war. Oops, I, I, I shouldn't have said that, but. Um, so thanks for being here, Zoid. We are doing some boosting madness between our uh, villages here. So let me see, what was I doing? I need that, I need giants, don't I? Um, 
two, three, yep, I need all giants. So we're just catching up. Alright, now I can switch back on over and let's get Bowser's attack underway um, as we uh, continue our boost here tonight. So here we go, Bowser in tow. Lobson, welcome to the show, my friend. How you doing? Are you a Clash Claner out there? What games do you play? Because here on the Stick Pot Shack Show, Thursday, we're doing Clash games, and then all the other nights, we're playing Fortnite. So, uh, welcome. Alright, so now we got our army camps ready. We got our uh, spells ready, I do believe. Uh, we're still waiting on that last rage, really? Oh, 20 seconds. So, we'll wait 20 seconds, then we'll go. So, I ha all I have is my Barbarian King at level 12, and my Queen is down. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, should be just about ready on this spell. Let's go ahead and boost as well so we don't have to wait too long. Take a train potion. Go, 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 go. There goes that. Alright, so now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get these attacks underway. And the next uh, attack, we'll actually go back and use this army here, which is my main uh, army that I use on my Town Hall 10. So we'll cue that up and let's find a battle. Zoid, how do you get stink bombs? Type exclamation point stink bombs and that'll show your running total. So here we go. Town Hall 10, we'll skip next because I like to pick on the pesky TH9s. So we'll did look for a, a good uh, TH9 to battle here. I got a siege machine so I can tear them up nicely. Hopefully we can find like some crazy loot. Here we go, this will work. 30 trophies at hand as well. So we'll get in here and see what happens. Um, you got all these buildings on the outside so I'm gonna start my attack by doing that. Uh, change that, to, oh. Okay, so let's start taking out some of these troops with our extra wizards just to clear out a little bit of this. Okay, look, we got level 6 wizards, so they're doing pretty good all by themselves. So now we can send in the, the uh, siege machine and the golem and the giant. So there's our tanks. And then we'll uh, send in the giant as well, send in some wall breakers, just send everything in. Send them all in while they're distracted. Do uh, some uh, jump spell on the back end, and let's get in here and uh, do some major damage to this town hall nine. Put all the good things in. Just one in everywhere. Rage, madness, and uh, looks like the siege machine down. We gotta take down the queen, and that's pretty much all that's left. Looks like we got all the wizards going on the outside, so we'll do uh, keep them alive here. 45%. Now the queen is going to go down, boom, by wizards. This did not go as well as I had hoped, because I think I brought a little bit too much wizards on this one, but uh, we'll see in my next attack. And not to mention, I don't have my queen, so that definitely hurts as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do the freeze. Not that it matters much now. But we're getting that outside loot now. Oh, I got 33 archers. Why didn't I use those? That would have been a good thing. But here we go. Let's just use these uh, archers to get the remaining loot. And there's a couple wizards. One wizard left, so getting some good loot out of this. Got one more here and a couple up here. We'll try to take out. Graham Lewis, welcome to the show. Um, in order to do a uh, vault assault, you have to do exclamation point stink bombs to see how many stink bombs you have, and that's the amount you uh, bet with. So, it, and you don't need to use parentheses. It's just vault assault uh, space, and then the number of stink bombs you want to do. So, someone help him out, please. Asbod, welcome to the show. And uh, we're just getting some good old loot here. We got 73%, so we're gonna get the 100% uh, bonus loot, or the, uh, the league bonus on here. 
So I'll be happy with that. Another fine two star 20. That's pretty, really good loot for Town Hall 10. And there you have it. We got everybody cooking as well. So now the weaker side, oops, sorry. The weaker side of things is my builder base five is not very advanced at all. You just saw on my Town Hall 12 that we had a builder base eight and it's coming along pretty nicely but this guy here is like my uh uh one of my you know stepchildren because i just can't seem to get anywhere going with this so let's go ahead and see what i'm talking about so one of my earlier uh armies that i used is a giant wall breaker and barbarians and archers so that's what we're doing here so but i can't just rush it like it did on that builder base eight i gotta really focus on picking apart their defenses in order to be successful so you can see right here is a triad of defenses here um that's going to be difficult to get through so i'm going to start over here in this corner and uh We'll, we'll, we'll go from there. So we'll, we'll lead with some giants when we need to. But that archer should be able to take down that by itself. So welcome to the show, Graham Lewis. Everybody that's here, get involved. Thanks for being a part of our community tonight. If you're not a subscriber, consider becoming a sneaking subscriber. And don't forget, we got a... a ch if you didn't watch last hour's show, uh, I got a special surprise for you at the end of tonight's show. So thanks, Graham for your subscription i definitely appreciate that my friend good to have you here on the stink pot shack show so here we go we can lead with our giants now and we'll put plop in these wall breakers and then once that happens um we'll surge in with our barbarians and put our uh archers on the outside so here we go lead with the barbarians and the goal is to get that town hall down because that's about that's the best as I can hope for is getting that town hall down. Let's see if we can get her down. The archers are on it. Barbs are on it. So that's gone down. So we're going to get a strong 1%. Might get a 2%. Uh, no, nope, doesn't look like we're going to get a 2 star out of this. we got to get 50%. And everybody dying like crazy. 48% so close to that 2 star. But that's generally all I try to do at Builder Base 5 is focus on strategic pinpoint attack on the defenses and then go straight in for the town hall and more often than not you'll get, take that 48 percent pump it up to a 50 percent and get a nice two star out of it but you can see it was enough for victory in this match and uh, they pretty much used a very similar army to me it's just i have loved that rage that the barbarians put out so uh, that's why i uh, chose that take barbarians and archers so so we've seen a Town Hall 12, a Town Hall 10, Builder Base 8, Builder Base 5. Yeah, guys, so uh, like uh, Eagle's trying to say, in order to do the uh, uh, any of the mini games, you have to have Stink Bombs. So every minute you watch the Stink Pot Shack show, you are accumulating Stink Bombs. So uh, the more you watch, the more you get, and you can also get promoted and brag to all your friends and uh, you know uh, show that around and then uh, as the time goes on we're gonna be using the stink bombs for more fun so uh, start focusing on getting your stink bombs up and enjoy the mini games from now all the commands are in the top right of your screen which is right above me uh, so those are all the commands currently available to you. You'll have to type them exactly how it is. So when it says amount, you don't need to put the brackets around it. Just put a number when it says amount. When it says username, just write your username as it's shown in the live chat. So uh, hopefully Eagle can get you guys all squared away. But in the meantime, let's go to our third account here and uh, take a little blast from the past uh, this is my town hall two and he's all but destroyed look at him 388 trophies man this is such a pitiful base let's get it back in order don't even have the money to upgrade yet but i've pretty much maxed out everything on town hall two you can see i use uh bar giants goblins and archers that take out stuff so let's uh go ahead and get this thing rolling shall we um we're gonna go ahead and upgrade 
to uh, Town Hall 3. So uh, on our next show, you guys are going to see some Town Hall 3 action. But let's uh, showcase one more time uh, what Town Hall 2 attacks are going to be looking like. So uh, don't want to do that. We'll just keep next in. Don't want to do that. Mortars are not my good friend at Town Hall 2. Um, still, no, like the mortars. No mortars for me. All right, this looks like, no, no loot there. Uh, this might be a good one. Yep, I think this will do it, folks. So, all right, here's what you're going to do. You only have three defenses to worry about, and you got four giants. So use, uh, we're going to use one giant on the archer tower, just like so. Put some archers behind it. Take it out. We'll put another giant because now we got more uh, defenses focused on it. And then we'll do the same thing here. Three archers behind that. And now we can take out, hopefully, take out this cannon with this other giant. And those archers didn't go the right way. There, now they're going the right way. So once these defenses are locked down, now we can send in our goblins to finish up. That's all you guys have to do on Town Hall 2. Uh, not much to it and strategy wise. Take out the defenses with your uh, giants and just finish off with the rest. I started using goblins because on some of these Town Hall 2 attacks, you might run out of time because they're the DPS of the archers and the giants are so low at this level that you might run out of time. So that's why I threw some goblins in there because they excel at taking out the resource buildings and uh, the destroying of the buildings go much faster than these goblins. So that's my tip for you and that's our first star of the night. Just waiting on these corner buildings now. Let's see, we got one, any more? Two. So two buildings left. And this will be a three star. Do, 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 do. Yes, uh, goblins will target your resource containers first. When those are gone, then they'll target the town hall because it's a resource building also. Guys, world's having trouble getting a crew together. So there's that. Don't haven't unlocked the builder base yet, because uh, if we hit rebuild, it says you need to upgrade to town hall four. So we won't be able to do builder base here until we get up to town hall four. But in the meantime, we shall go back to our uh, town hall twelve and see what they're cooking up over there and do another attack. Yeah, Eagle, you're right. I forgot about that chain. So since the town hall is also a resource building, as long as it's closest to the goblins, they'll go for that instead of the other resource buildings. Thanks for that correction. All right, so town hall 12. Looks like we need to give some troops. Uh, I need a healing spell. So a lot of switching, guys, but we'll at least we don't have to wait on armies, right? It's a lot of fun when you can play the game this way. You have that's the the uh, what Supercell ID does for you. It, as long as you have an email address, it allows you to have pretty much as many accounts that you want to have. So uh, yeah, good to know there. And let's see if Bowser's army is ready to go. Two twenty, and he's going to need to request some bowlers. So we'll get those going. And uh, we'll switch back to Stink Pot now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sometimes it lags a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty quick on the switching between accounts. I'm just not quick on the, the stream settings, so. All right, so we got uh, that, that. Let's go ahead and cook up some bowlers for Bowser. And I think he'll need that. He'll need a siege, so let's keep the siege cooking as well. Okay, they're doing good. So do we have enough army here? 280. And that, 
and we should have all our heroes up and ready to go so let's go queue up our next army as well do 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 I can't because I got those bowlers coming all right let's take on another town hall high end attack town hall 11 or 12 Eagle, uh, I wouldn't recommend Blue Stacks because Blue Stacks is against the terms of service for Supercell. So uh, you don't need Blue Stacks anymore in order to do what I'm doing. You just need Supercell ID. So if you use Blue Stacks, uh, be warned you could get banned. <laughs> all right, so it looks like I got all my army. So I have my siege. Yep, have the siege. So, go ahead and find some better loot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, playing Clash of Clans on computer is against the terms of service because Blue Stacks is the only way. So, if you like, I have three accounts on my phone. So, so you're able. You're able to do it on Blue Stacks, but if you read Supercell's little legal mumbo jumbo, they do not like Blue Stacks. So you're taking a risk if you use Blue Stacks. I don't know how often they enforce it, though, but. Just something to be aware, aware of. <laughs> yeah, I used to use Blue Stacks until uh, I was on the Clash of Clans forums, and uh, that's when I found out about how it breaks the terms of service. So, all right, so we got a Town Hall 12. Look at that loot, mad loot, 700k all around. Um, this is a definitely an anti three star because they got their Town Hall and their Eagle artillery separated. Where's the Queen at? Uh. Oh crap, I need to switch this to that. Let's go after the Eagle Artillery and uh, see where we can get there. So here we go. Let's hope we don't fail this attack here. And away we go. Clear out this uh, stuff out here. And once the hole is busted, we can get into the core. Rage everybody up. You gotta get that up. Uh... Oh, everybody's going the wrong way. Oh well, just put on my stuff here. Can't worry about it now. We've already started our assault. Get everybody rocking and rolling. Keep our miners happy. Target the front of us as long as we possibly can because they will be. Oh, we got some electro dragon madness out here. Now we're just, we got our uh, one star. Getting that two star could be challenging. Now I've used all my abilities. Yeah, we're not going to get that town hall down. Because that Giga Tesla, look at that. It just destroys you. And you, in order to get that Giga Tesla, you have to have your town hall 12 completely maxed. I know it saved me quite a bit on some of my defenses. <coughs> but look at them miners still go. 81% they racked up. Just running away from those dragons. Um, so I'm happy. We got a good loot haul there, 600,000 gold, 478, 5,600 dark. I'm happy with that because when you combine that with my league bonus, that's like eight, 900K uh, loot I got on that. So uh, let's go ahead and request more troops and give some bowlers to uh, Bowser and a siege machine. So he's ready to go and a giant. So now Bowser's looking happy and now we can make our next army once again. 
Boom, boom, boom. Did I use anything there that I need to get rid of? Nope, got rid of it all. All right, queue up some more Siege. And you can see um, the main purpose behind my uh, upgrades right now is I'm just focusing on walls and heroes. That's all I'm doing. And I, if you look, if, if you've been a really good uh, eyeball, I have two pieces of the uh, blue walls uh, that I snuck in there. So I'm um, trying to get just the four corners started just to say, hey, I got them. But that's it. Now let's go back and do a build your base eight attack. We got a two star 98% last time. Sankar, Sankar, welcome to the show. How you doing, man? What's your favorite game right now? Is it Fortnite or is it Clash of Clans or is it something else? Let me know in the live chat and we'll discuss some uh, my opinion on the games. I'm also playing Castle Burn at the moment. I've seen shown a couple videos of that and we got a announcement coming in about 10 minutes on another game. So, all right, so the biggest threat is going to be this giant cannon. So we will focus on taking him out first. And we will start from the corners, do our Tika battle thing. Here we go, get some barbarians to take out these buildings out here. And once the walls are blown, that's when I'll send in some more Tika. Use some wall breakers in the middle to take out the middle so I can have a peek at on pretty much that entire side of the battle and use the remaining barbarians to help uh, the DPS because the peek -a can be really slow. So now we got the uh, giant cannon bu busted up. Peek is going to take quick work of that. And now the, the battle machine can come in here and do his thing. So, uh, we're just getting here. We're gonna sprinkle in this uh, last barbarian in case we need to save it for that Tesla at the bottom later. We'll see how these, these people can stay alive. But now we got a strong two star attack right now. And uh, let's see what happens here. Can we pull out the, the victory? Put that barbarian on that big Tesla. See if it can take it out while the uh, other defenses are distracted. So that should help. And that, my friends, is going to be a three-star attack on our Builder Base 8. We got the 98% last time, but this time we were able to pull off the 100%er three-star. We'll end with a barbarian cry. Finish it out as he rushes towards the last building. Addy Rose, welcome to the show. Keep collecting those stink bombs, guys. Keep collecting them. <laughs> Addy Rose has got zero, so for every minute you'll watch the show, you'll get more stink bombs, so keep collecting them. <laughs> so that was Builder Base A. Oh, they got 100%. Of course. It seems like 50% of the time, when I 100%, they also 100%. So let's see how they did it. Against my base, night, uh, yeah, the Night Witches seem to be the, the, the troop that people are blowing my base up with. Let's see how they did it. Were they close? Did they do it with, a, you know, with relative ease? Let's see how it, we'll speed it up just a little bit. Oh, they got cannon carts as well. Wait to see. There's, there's the Witches. Throwing them out. Those, that, those bats go really fast. But this roaster... Um, takes out those bats really quick, but obviously they just had enough to overwhelm my roaster. So that leaves the base pretty uh, vulnerable to the witch attack at this point. But I have my anti uh, witch uh, defense, is I've littered all my bombs around the perimeter of the base just for witches. And uh, you can see in this case, they won this battle really easy so bad luck there but that's all right so let's check out our town hall 10 now let's see what he's up to who's moving right along you're watching the stink pot shack show and we are talking about village boosting uh mashup here so all right so let's see if our tech's going this time we're going to be doing a queen walk but my queen's not dead, so it's going to be a barbarian walk. And I got a golem, I got a valks, and I got giants and wizards. So that's what this is going to be. And then in my castle, I have bowlers and the siege machine with some more giant 
one more giant. So let's see if we have better luck and can get a three star on, on, on this right here with our TH turn. Here we go. Let me go ahead and queue up the next army, actually. Uh, I want that one to get a train. Okay, here we go. You can see the fog is lifted almost immediately. Remember on that Town Hall 12? Sometimes you have to watch a really long time. But on these lower level arenas, there's no time at all. It just instantly goes to the next one. Wow, here's a dead base. Might as well take this one out. Easy loot. Let's take it out. Nothing to really worry about here. So uh, we'll take out these air defenses back here. And that should be pretty much it. All you gotta do. Down, we'll plop down the uh, demons. Let's get some bad breakers everywhere. And the siege machine. Now we're cooking. Box in there. And the giants. Rage it all up. Put some uh, junk spell on the back end. <coughs> Here we go. We're starting the main assault of our attack now. But everybody wins this. Rage them, get them back on track, save our healing. This should be hardly, this should be an easy win. There's no defense to worry about. The box will just tear up into most of the defenses. And the thing about using a fast attack that you really got to pay attention to is the Golem. The Golem will get so slow and he'll uh, actually get behind your army. So you you want to try and keep your golem the best that you can ahead of everything. You can see those healers are just keeping everybody, keeping those little bit of healers alive. So now we've slowed down to the point where the golem can push back ahead. Hey, Addy, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. And this one is just a matter of time now before we crush the enemy. Not really fair, because it's a dead base, but hey, shouldn't have been in action. Shouldn't have quit the game. Shouldn't have uh, let me come in here and take all your loot. But you did, and uh, now you have to deal with it. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you, don't. Maybe you quit the game and you don't care. Get that archer in there. Where those healers go? Just keeping those three little wizards ahead. <laughs> <sighs> sure, Eagle, not a problem. How's your clan going, by the way, Eagle? You ready for that friendly clan war yet? And just like with my Town Hall 12, I use all my loot for uh, walls as well on this side of the battlefield so eagle he said let's check out his base uh friends oh i bet i'm a friend with you on stink pot let me switch over to there Okay. So let's check this. Oh, I need to be on the. I hate that. Just let me look. All right. Profile. Social. Friends. Let's see where Eagle's at. Is your name Eagle? I forget if your in game name is Eagle. Oh, I know I I know I friend requested you, did sixteen seventy seven trophies, okay, that helps. There you are. Eagle visit. Can you check my base? What would you like to know, man? You just want me to look at this donut base? 
TH10. You got an Inferno. Hard to see the rest of your base because it's been blown up. You just have one Inferno Tower? Hey, Harmon, welcome to the show. I'm Stickpot, and this is your Stickpot Shit Show. Don't mind me, guys. We're doing a uh, village boosting uh, mashup here. I'm just looking at Eagle's base real quick. Just one Inferno. So it's good that you have it as a single target. Uh, do you have your town hall out there as like a, a bait? It's like an anti three star strategy because that's the only reason I would put it out there like that is if I was wanting them to go there so then I could swarm all my defenses on them. So yeah. Let me know how it goes, man. Um, the okay. The, the only thing I might suggest is when you do get that other Inferno Tower up, I guess you're going to put it like right around here. Take some, I know why, I know why you have these walls up here so they can't drop here, but it might be a good idea to take some of these wall pieces and make like a little line here and a little line here to connect that. So that way you have a top and a bottom compartment for your donut. So when you have the two infernos up there, it'll just make it a little bit harder because it's so easy to get into your base right now because two wall breakers and they're in. <coughs> so uh, if you have a little extra compartment there, that might help out your defense a little bit. But other than that, keep it going, man. Keep it going. So well, let's go to our, uh, we've done our town hall. Uh, we've done, let me switch this. We've done our town hall 12. We've done our town hall 10. Now let's go back and get another town hall 2 attack in. This will be the last night you see this account as a Town Hall 2 um, because it's upgrading to Town Hall 3. But I just want to show, you know, if, if you're wondering why I have such a low account, I only play this account on my live stream. And a few weeks ago, we started an origin series where we started from scratch and, we and we're going through each Town Hall level and, and showing you the best strategies at each Town Hall level so that's the reason why we have this account his name is stink check show if you want to be his friend and also i'm going to be using this account to go around and join uh people's clans that are active participants on the show and uh i'll visit some clans and uh we'll just have a good old time with this account so let's go ahead oh i never trained an army well that's not good and I can't see this is what I don't like about these lower ones. You can't even quick train until Town Hall 5. That should not be unlockable by Town Hall. They should let you have that from uh, Town Hall 1 because it's a quality of service perk. So, and I don't like sitting here and just tapping like the good old days. Uh, but that's what it's going to make me do. So, so yeah. I'm saving that up. So that's going to take too long to wait on. So we'll come back to that. Um, but I did want, do want to show you guys one thing. Um, if you weren't here, Cax, welcome to the show as well. And someone Asian or Chinese writing, I can't pronounce your name because I don't know Chinese or Japanese symbols. I'm sorry, but hello. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. But... Don't forget, um, we just kicked off our Subway Surfer Challenge last hour. So uh, let's talk about that. So Subway Surfer, if you're not familiar with that. Oh, new subscriber, thank you very much for being a sticking subscriber here on the Stink Pot Shack Show. So let's go back to look at the shack real quick. And let's pop on in to uh, Subway Surfer's. You're now a sticky subscriber. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate that. Um, so here we go. We're going to deal with portrait mode for just a minute. So this is Subway Surfer. It's a free game out here. And you want to click on top run. And then from once you get to top run, you want to click on high scores. And this is what we're talking about. Stink pot. 
I have 7.8 million. So the challenge I'm issuing, issuing to you guys here tonight is beat this high score. You must show up on my screen on this list. So you have to show your name, knocking me down in number two. It shows your name in number one. That's how you beat me. Now, how do you qualify for this challenge? Well, there's several things. You must beat the high score, first off. You must show up on this high score list. And then you also must be able to provide a one minute video clip showing you beating my score. Because I know there's hackers out there. I know there's cheaters out there. So I want a bona fide winner. I don't want someone that cheats their way to the winner circle. So whoever can do that will receive a $25 Google Play card or iTunes card. You get a choice of one, but not both. And if you are an international viewer, um, I won't be able to send you a gift card, but I will send you the equivalent of 25 uh, American dollars via PayPal. So if you're an international viewer, you'll also need a PayPal account set up. So that's my challenge to you, the Subway Surfer Challenge. Good luck. And now let's head back on into our Clash of Clans one more time. We're going to get one more round of attacks in. Are we... Are we are we close to heaven here? We're just waiting on our giant, so we'll come back and do that. Oops, oops, don't want to show that yet. Uh, I knew I was going to do that at least once, but oh well. Uh, yeah. Log out and log back in with Stink Pot. And here we go. Town Hall number 12. Looks like we have our army. And it looks like we're just going to need castle troops and then we'll be ready to go on this. Giants and healing. And if you see this uh, Shack Show icon, it's not the stream messing up. It's just me switching be between my account so I can give troops. So back to Bowser, if you're keeping up. And let's give him some giants a healing. Two more giants, actually. Jim that. And there's that. Okay, so he's ready to go. Let's cook up that healing that we missed. And let's cook up the rest of our giants. And Bowser's going to need bowlers. So we'll get some bowlers out to him after this attack. Let's switch back to Stink Pot and get our final attack for the Town Hall 12 crowd. Yeah, Eagle, I talked about that last week, so it was a paid app, but no, I forgot about the light version, so I'll, I'll, I'll try out the light version. I've seen videos of it. It uh, seems like a, a variation of Minecraft meets uh, Clash of Clans or whatever you want to call it, but <coughs> I've seen a couple of videos on it, and it looks intriguing, so I'll, I'll have to try the light version. Thanks for the reminder. All right, so we got uh, our usual minor attack. We have everything ready to go. Do we have siege? We got siege. Let's cook up some more. Oops, don't want to do that. Let's cook up some more. Oh, we don't need to. Let's queue our oh, bowlers up. Do, 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 do. And I think we only needed five and a giant, didn't we? All right, so that'll be queued up. Are my heroes ready? My heroes are ready. Town Hall 12, let's get going. Oh, so, yeah, Block Fortress Wars is the one I was watching, I believe. I'll have to double check that as well. Because Block Fortress is the original and F Fortress Wars is the latest one, right? <laughs> Okie dokie, Town Hall 12. Pretty good loot here. Oh, level 60 heroes. I don't want to go up against a max. I'm not too terribly great at Town Hall 12 max bases yet. So we'll skip that one. Now we're back to the fog. Try 
Choi Song Hoon. It was the translation of that guy. Well, thank you very much, Eagle, for that translation. Sorry I missed that so late. Choi Song Hoon, welcome to the Stink Pot Shack Show. Man, this fog it gets so hard to wait on during the live stream. It's such a pain. Just give me somebody. Anybody. Okay. Thanks, Eagle. Eagle, how long of a delay is there between when you hit enter on that type message and before I respond? Is it like more than like five seconds? Hello, Abhishek. Welcome to the Stink Pot Shack Show. Just trying to find a good tech. Yeah, three seconds. I know there's a way where I can get down to zero latency, so I'm going to try to focus on that so our communications are like real time. Thanks very much, Choi, for the nod on 400 subscribers. I've been fluctuating a lot, but thank you very much. Wow, look at that base. Two seconds, okay. Thank you very much. It's been a hard road to 400 subscribers, but I'm trying to get it to a thousand slowly but surely. A thousand is my main first real goal, but I always celebrate at every 100 subscribers. So thank you all for being here on the Stink Pot Shack Show and being a part of our stinking family. We are here, uh, like it says. Well, actually, it doesn't say on here, but we are here Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Central. Exclamation point stink bombs will get you the, the amount. Doop. Just got to find a good base. We're sitting here looking for a good base. Anybody... Anybody got any jokes? Any clean, funny jokes? If you can make me laugh, I'll give you some free stink bombs. But it's hard. It's hard being funny. Wow, look at this face. Now that made me laugh. People don't do this anymore. But we're going to attack it anyway. Because it's 13 trophies. So it says, Willy. Willy... Willie E? <laughs> Somebody wrote their name. That's, that's hilarious. So, all the defenses are on this side. So, yeah, this should go pretty quick. ideas for how you would like to see my room decorated behind me in my new studio let me know i'd be happy to entertain some thoughts i got some ideas of what i want to do but i haven't gotten around to doing them yet and there's the three stars so that's two three stars we've seen here tonight we'll take the 13 trophies and move on away and we get 750 bonus 750 thou all right so let's see here so we're done with that. Let's do one more builder base eight attack. And see how that goes. Builder base eight. So once again, I want to take out the uh, the big threat first. So we'll start on this side. Three. 
Bombs on this side. Pika. Three. And bombs on the middle. One, two. And we got two, three. Alright, so now I got six barbarians. And then the barber uh, the wall breakers bust that middle. I'll send in the other two people there. And uh let's hopefully have a good run. I think we've got to get that giant cannon taken out. Uh, there, so yeah, now it should be easy. Once that's done, I can take uh, send in the, the battle machine. Do a little bit more damage with some barbarians. And let's see how we can take that Tesla out with some barbarians. It's gonna be a solid two star. Do we have what it takes to get the three? Get that Tesla out. Ooh, the pressure crushing me. All right, looking good, looking good. Another three star on Battle Base Eight coming your way. Got one Pika, and one Battle Machine left, and just two defenses left. Pika level twelve. That's right, Choi. That's right, my friend. I'm trying to max out my Super Pika, um, so that's why you see them high level. They're just beasts on the Build Base Eight level. So uh, there you have it. Boom, boom. And that's going to be a three star right there. Let's see what the enemy did. Three star. Let's. And we got the victory. 57%. Let's see where they went wrong. We'll speed up the replay here. And let's see how this goes. And they just used archers. That's not going to get them very far. Zoom in right here. See, that's why I only have a level 5 battle machine because I focus all my elixir into the Super Pika. The battle machine really isn't as good as the Super Pika. This to me, the battle machine is the best unit on the other base side. Now the Pika and the Night Witch are definitely better than the Battle Machine. The Battle Machine is just an extra tank of the honestly, so keep that in mind as you go through the Builder Base level. So that's pretty much did it for there. And let's see, I am now able to go. You thought level 12 was bad? Well look at this. We're gonna go up to level 13, so next week, let's see, yeah, five days. So next week we can see this guy in action we'll upgrade him to uh, level 13 for you how about that so let's hop on over let's give uh, Bowser a, a shot now give him some bowlers give him a, a siege machine give him a giant all right so now we can switch on over here and get to Bowser, log out, log in. Still have a crafts, craftsman base in the seventh hole. Well, keep on working at it, man. You'll get there. Definitely takes a lot of discipline and a lot of patience, but you can definitely get there. So good job. Keep it going. That's what I say. All right, so we got this army, 220. We got everything. I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? A poison. Oh, I'm missing. What am I missing? That's what I'm missing. Take that away. Now we got, there we go. Perfect. All right, let's hop in here and see what happens. Hey, Mashar, welcome back. Ooh, Addy, you're up to 20 stink bombs. Congratulations. The more you watch, the more you'll get. So keep that in mind. Here we go. 540 seems like a good base for me. We'll go in and, and get some good attacks in. Bust up some of this.
rage and keep the rage alive. Bowler's alive. There's another three star for you. Parth, you made it, my friend. Thank you for uh, attending here tonight. So now we've done a solid Town Hall 12 attack. We did a solid Town Hall 10 attack. Welcome back, Eagle. Let's uh, do a Builder Base 5 attack. And like I said, um, I don't have the Pikas to worry about, but all I can really do is pinpoint some strategic strikes on their defenses and hope for the best. So. Um, where's their okay their town hall is there I'm gonna focus right here because there's not very many defenses there and there's probably gonna be bombs and crap it's probably a big old trap um, but that's what I'm gonna do so here we go there's, yep, there's one bomb. Oh, the, the wall breakers the wrong way, but that's okay. Uh, let's send in the barbs. And not a good attack at all. Well, that's probably the worst attack of the night. Definitely right there. But I told you guys, my builder base 5 sucks. I, I'm trying to get it uh, in a better state. But right now, um, you can see what happens when you don't. When, when things get out of control. I'm just... Need to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So, Miss Robux, beep, 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 welcome to the show. I am Stink Pot, and this is your Stink Pot Shack show. Um, yeah, collectors in the corner probably would have been a good idea to get that. I did see him at the beginning, but we, might, if we're lucky, we'll pull out a one star. But it, it ain't gonna look. Nope, it ain't gonna happen. Not today. So, uh, sorry that ended on a sore note, but don't forget our Subway Surfer Challenge is underway. Get over there and beat Stink Pot score, and you could have a $25 gift card. If you're international viewer, you could have a 25 uh, PayPal transaction. So, uh, it does the currency conversion for us, so we don't have to worry about that so much. But this has been a great show. Thanks to Eagle for being my master moderator here on the show, and for Thero. Welcome for being here, Miss Robux, uh, Sky's World, Parth, Addy. Uh, I miss so many people tonight, but if you subscribe or are considering subscriber, we're here every Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Sunday. So we'll be here again Sunday for Fortnite on our Fortnite Fun Night starting at 7 p.m. on Sunday. Thanks to all our subscribers, and see you later. Thanks to our sticky subscribers, Choi, hold, I forgot his name, I'm so sorry. I'm horrible. Good night.